sense of community. And this community has grown in a vast aspect from over from the 70s. For instance, like disco was to the, the you know, to the disco era, it's kind of like house music is kind of obviously derived from that nature, like the whole the whole club element that was involved then, and uh, you know the whole just express yourself and and mix of people that, that came together for the for those parties they used to do. To me, it's a wonderful thing because I was around when the guys only had house music in Chicago and synced out a little bit to Detroit when it wasn't really even in New York. It was house music in Chicago, not New York. And uh, to see it grow from that point and to be a part of this and, uh, and to respect all those guys like Steve Silk Hurley, DJ Pierre, Ron Hardy, Frankie Knuckles, Lil Lewis, and, and, and Louis Vega, and those guys from New York, to see all everybody together and, and, and from, the, from the past to the future, it's a beautiful thing. And, and to also be a part of it right now when it's really getting all of its motivation. So I want to say one thing to all the pioneers out there, Larry Hurd and all those guys, I respect those guys and much love, and I thank you for encouraging me and inspiring me to go to the next level. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's a, a lot more interest in the, like, the house, quote unquote, house music now, because I don't know, I, you know, I always felt like it has a little more substance to some of the other stuff that's going on, and people are just feeling it now. There's a lot more quality stuff out right now, so it's really helping the movement, you know what I mean? The way that I feel about it is there's some of us that have been down with quote unquote deep house for years yeah, yeah. and I just feel like a lot of people are making a transition to where we've been. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I think due to the, um, you know, due to how big the progressive scene blew up, mm -hmm. it just sort of, it became overkill so people are sort of toning it down a bit and looking for something else mm -hmm. and getting, you know, going to things that are a little, you know, more groovy, funky, yep. you know. Where you kept the steady beat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Steady I mean, it's what I yeah, feel, what you, you know what I mean? I always yeah. play what I feel. Mm -hmm. I hope it stays somewhere where it is now, sort of a balance between new and old, you know, so that uh, it sort of appeals to everyone, you know, and it, it can appeal to the older crowd. And the younger crowds, the newer kids coming up, the newer generation. It's it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing to be able to like go in, you know, play different places that you never thought you would be, and spread music. You know, it's it's really cool. Um, it kind of they just creeps up on you, you know, and it's like you end up putting out music, and then it touches so many people in different parts of the world that you find yourselves visiting all these places. It's like you know finding out that all there, you know, there's thousands of kids that are going out to, to parties in other countries, you know. Yeah, well, I think it's important that you get a shot of this crazy wall that we have in the store. It's kind of like a wax-only type of thing where, you know, every house producer or DJ that's come through town, they, they come here first and uh, they always want to sign the wall. So we started like a, you know, it's like a... What do you call it? It's got to be somebody to sign the wall. Yeah, pretty much. And so like, like, it's accumulated. It's, 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 it's been like pretty much four years of house music history up there. Like everybody up there. In Wax, in Wax, if you get to sign the wall, you, you've arrived. So I get to sign the wall. Top of the